There are so many different types of instant wins here in the Yu-Gi-Oh! trading card game. And some of you guys who are watching and that are new to Yu-Gi-Oh! are probably wondering, Sam, what the heck is an instant win? An instant win condition is a deck whose goal is to try and win, not using the normal ways that Yu-Gi-Oh! intended you to win. For example, to win Yu-Gi-Oh! is reducing your opponent's life point to zero. You're not trying to be doing that with an instant win. But an instant win is reaching a specific requirement by activating specific effects that allows you to instantly win by resolving its ability. For example, the most iconic instant win in Yu-Gi-Oh! is unlocking all five pieces of Exodia. Next, we got Destiny Board, the final countdown, and so many more. In today's video, we're gonna try to resolve the funniest win condition ever in Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel. It's harder than Exodia, it's harder than Final Countdown, it's harder than Destiny Board. And the question is, can we actually win? Let's find out. Today, we're gonna tackle possibly the hardest and the most funniest win condition of all time. This monster is called Flying Elephant. This card is a win level four beast monster with the attack stats of 1850 attack and 1300 defense. It has an amazing ability that reads, once per opponent's turn, if this card will be destroyed by their card effect, it is not destroyed. Once per turn during their end phase, if that effect was applied this turn, apply the following effect. During your next turn, if this card inflicts battle damage to your opponent by a direct attack, you win the duel. So guys, why is this win condition really hard to achieve? Well, one, your opponent needs to use a card to attempt to destroy Flying Elephant. Number two, during the end phase, Flying Elephant needs to trigger off this ability. Number three, when it comes to your turn, once you resolve those two effects, you need to deal direct damage to your opponent and then you win the duel. Is this win condition possible? Can Dumbo actually win here in today's Master Duel? I have the perfect deck list for you guys right now. Yeah, yeah. All right, guys, this is the Flying Elephant deck list right here. What the deck does is very simple. You need to see these cards. You need to see Give and Take, Powerful Rebirth while having Flying Elephant, Neko Main King, and Slice of the Sky Dragon in your graveyard. And what this deck does is very simple. What you're trying to do right now is you're trying to skip your opponent's turn during their draw phase. So during their draw phase, okay, you're going to activate Powerful Rebirth, Powerful Rebirth, Give and Take. You're going to summon Flying Elephant, Neko Main King, and you're going to give your opponent's life for the Sky Dragon. Neko Main King is going to summon out itself on the field with Flying Elephant, Slife for the Sky Dragon since your opponent has it because you gave it to them with Give and Take. You know what I'm saying? These cards will be reduced to zero since Flying Elephant would not be destroyed. It will trigger off its ability. But since Neko Main King will go to zero because Powerful Rebirth gives it 100 attack stats, this card will be destroyed, skipping your opponent's turn, making it their end phase, during their end phase, since you special summon Cypher the Sky Dragon to their side of the field. Cypher the Sky Dragon has ability where it reads, if it's special summoned, you destroy it during the end phase. So... That means you clear opponent's boards, you skip your opponent's turn, they have no cards on the field, they have six cards in hand, and now you have Flying Elephant on the field, equip it with Power of the Guardians, enter the battle phase, it will deal 450 damage to your opponent directly because your opponent will have no monsters on the field, triggering off Flying Elephant's ability to instantly win the duel. It's built like an Exodia deck, is because you're trying to draw as many cards in your deck as quickly as possible that's why roll magical library is very important you summon a library with a bunch of spells and then you win the entire duel draw your entire deck and you just instantly win with the flying elephant win condition and today we're gonna hop into duelist cup and send everybody to the shadow realm with flying elephant guys this is possibly the funniest win condition here in Yu Gi Oh master duel and the question is can it actually win without further ado <laughs> Let's FTK somebody with Dumbo. Let's go. All right, guys. So we're going first, okay, in Duelist Cup. And we have a 99.99% chance of actually winning with Dumbo on the very first turn. Guaranteed. Guaranteed. You guys will see right now. Draw. Wow. This hand is amazing. All right. Honestly, guys, no cap. We need to see Royal Magical Library or else this hand is not that good. Come on, Library. Oh, please, Library. Just come to me. Just come. Let's just go Magical Mallet. I'm going to high risk, high reward, shovel back four cards to the top of my deck. Well, into my deck to draw. Our opponent has no hand trap, so we're literally going to win the duel right now. We draw a library. Library, three spells. Oh my god, that is absolutely freaking broken, dude. Oh my god, dude. Oh my god, dude. Okay, activate terraforming. I'm going to add chicken game, okay? 
activate chicken game. Now we're gonna uh, activate chicken game. Beautiful. Okay. And then we're gonna activate I can move right. Okay. I can move right. And now we're gonna use library draw one. Okay. Beautiful. All right, guys. Shin P Shin Pyro Ford will not know what's coming. I promise you. This guy is probably gonna think we're playing Exodia, but we're not. We're not playing Exodia. We're we're too good for Exodia. You know what I'm saying? Oh my God. Okay. This one gets interesting now because we need to just dark world dealings. I don't like this because it makes our opponent draws a hand trap, but we do we drew the cursed, which is ridiculous. Uh, you know, like I I just don't want our opponent draw a hand trap. That's that's literally I don't want. That's the only thing that we don't want. Oh, raid raptors. Okay, cool. Okay, our opponent's not having a turn. Okay, we're gonna search broken bamboo sword directly from our deck to our hand. Now we're gonna activate broken bamboo sword equipped to roll magical library. It's gonna be absolutely beautiful. And now we're gonna activate golden bamboo sword to draw two cards. All right, guys. So now we're gonna activate rural magical library to draw one. Oh, absolutely gorgeous activate pseudo space guys we need to draw our double rebirth our give and take nico main king flying elephant and slide for the sky dragon so we need to draw six cards once we get access to those six cards win the entire duel all right guys here we go we believe in the heart of the cards i do believe in the heart of the cards guys here we go activate pseudo space to draw one okay this is cooler than exodia guys you guys will see probably the hardest win condition to actually ever achieve but we'll make it work so let's let's hope again we they don't draw into an ash you know what i'm saying okay we need to uh discard this to the graveyard Come on, discard something bad, please. Discard like another Ray Raptor, please. Do something. Do not discard. Do not discard. We need to win the duel. We need no no, no hand traps. That's the only thing I don't like about Dark World dealings that you know they get to draw into a hand trap, which is kind of unfortunate. But let's see if there's an Ash here. No Ash. So look at that, guys. No Ash Blossom. So we're good. Maybe Shin Pyro Four is not playing any you know any Ash Blossoms in the main deck. Uh, you know if you played Ash Blossom, I'm pretty sure they would use it by now. Now I want to use Library to draw one absolutely amazing do not forget to use library okay so we we do two of our combo pieces we need to draw four more activate into the void no we no. we need to draw four more yeah because we already have power of the guardians right uh, which is amazing so we're gonna go into the void draw oh that's absolutely phenomenal let's see what we draw off paul duality um one two oh three card of the mice absolutely phenomenal let's see what we can deal with here we can activate uh roll magical library to draw one so draw one, guys. Here we go. Oh, Flying Elephant. There you go. Now we need to see Slifer and double give and take. So we need to see that right now. So activate Magical Mallet. I kind of want to put everything back. You know, like put this back. Put Dealings back. You know what I'm saying? Uh, we, we can set these two. Let's put back the monsters. Because I feel like we, we like we can just draw the monsters later, right? Like we'd rather draw small traps right now. Yes. Okay. So we drew into that. That's fine. We'll set Power for Rebirth. Set Guardians. And then we'll use Demise first. We'll use Card of Demise first just to draw one card. Just draw one. Okay, beautiful. That's fine. Activate Roll Magical Library to draw one. Okay, beautiful. We'll activate Into the Boy to draw one. Absolutely beautiful. We'll activate Golden Mammu Sword to draw two. We need at least one card left in our deck, okay, guys? We can't go a little bit greedy here. Draw a card. Okay, we need Give and Take now. Um, two cards. We can activate pseudo space. Okay, absolutely beautiful. Activate pseudo space. Draw one. So that's Neko Main King. We got three. We just need give and take. Draw one. Give and take, please. Give and take. Give and take. Give and take. Give and take. Draw one. Give and take. Give and take. Oh, Upstar Goblin. Give and take. Come on. Give and take. Give and take. Come on. Give and take. Oh, chicken game. Come on. Give and take. Give and take, give and take, give and take is all we need. Give and take is all we need. Give and take, guys. Here we go. Draw a card. Oh, library. That is not good. Five cards left. Come on. Give and take is all we need. Just need give and take. Just make sure it's not the last card left in our deck. Oh my god, I'm just afraid that if it's like the last and final card in our deck, uh, we literally just lose the win condition if it's the last final card in our deck. Oh, yes! Now we set give and take. Set powerful rebirth. And now we just end our turn. We turn this on. End our turn. And now the win condition is coming, guys. So now during our opponent's draw phase is when it gets crazy. So we're going to draw for turn. Okay. Our opponent's going to draw. Now during their draw phase, this is when it comes crazy. Because we're going to use the first powerful rebirth effect. Powerful rebirth is going to target the Neko main king. Okay. Make sure you do it in this order. Chain link two. We're gonna chain power rebirth to target the flying elephant. 
make sure you summon it in attack mode. All right, guys, because we are gonna, then going to activate give and take to give our opponents life for the Sky Dragon. So we're going to give our opponents life for the Sky Dragon right here by, by, by increasing the level of Royal Magical Library. Okay, so this is, this is the combo is happening now, guys. This is the FTK. Here we go. So we're going to give our opponents life for the Sky Dragon. Okay, now Rebirth is going to bring out Elephant in attack mode. Make sure it's in attack mode, okay? Summon in attack mode. And now, Power of Rebirth is going to summon Neko Main King in attack mode. And these are special summon. Now, triggering off Slifer's mandatory effect. If a monster special summon in attack position, you get to trigger off Slifer's effect. Okay? To destroy these two cards on the field. Slifer is going to trigger off right now. Okay, here we go. Slifer needs to activate. It needs to activate right now. What is our opponent? Yes. You see that? Yes. Slifer needs to activate. Chaining 2 activates. There's two monsters that summon. Okay? Slifer will reduce Neko Main King to zero. And of course, destroying itself and reducing Elephant to zero, using its effect to protect itself, triggering it off. Neko Main King will skip to the end phase. Slifer will get destroyed because it's, you know, of course, because it was, you know what I'm saying? It was special summon. Now we just draw for turn. Now is the win condition. Now we unlock Dumbo's special ability. Activate Power of the Guardians. Equip it to Dumbo. And now we enter the battle phase. Dumbo is going to attack directly at our opponent for game. Now triggering Dumbo's effect. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. One due to Dumbo's effect. This is the funniest win condition in Master Duel. And is officially cooler than Exodia. Let's freaking go!